Hey, Lynn, I thought you said this thing felt like it was riding on a cloud. Yeah, something doesn't feel right with this thing anymore. It feels like it's sitting low in the back. I can feel every bump, and it just doesn't feel as stable anymore. Ugh, oh, great. Let me check this out. Hey friends, it's Len from Wanae Auto. In this video, we want to talk to you about air ride suspension. Quick note, not every vehicle is going to have it, but if you've ever ridden in a vehicle with it, you probably loved it, unless it wasn't working right. As always, if you need any parts, check us out at wanaeauto.com. Get your parts shipped fast and free directly to your door. Air shocks are made to absorb and smooth out most bumps and road imperfections, creating maximum comfort over rough or bumpy terrain inside the passenger compartment. The air shock itself is designed to function under the proper amount of air pressure. Too much pressure, you're going to feel every bump while you're driving down the road. Too low and the vehicle can sway and have very poor handling. Either way, it can be very dangerous and it can cause some serious damage to the suspension itself. Commonly found in luxury vehicles for people who like a smooth ride. Or in vehicles where people want to either adjust the height or the firmness of their suspension. Now air suspension can be found in the rear or even front and rear on some passenger vehicles. Keep in mind you might also find air suspension in other vehicles as well, such as heavy duty trucks, dump trucks, or even city buses. But we're going to be focusing on passenger vehicles like this one right here. Now let's go over some basic tips for diagnosing air suspension issues. Start off with a visual check. Does it look like the vehicle is sagging from the front to the back or even just on one side? After that, you're going to want to go ahead and see if you can hear any air pump noise. If it's not working, typically it comes down to an electrical system issue, such as a fuse, something with a level sensor, or even the compressor itself. The compressor unit should have valves and a pressure sensor. Also, make sure you check those connections for corrosion. That's going to cause resistance and potentially an electrical issue. Keep in mind, some vehicles will have a switch commonly located in the trunk so you can manually turn off the air suspension. It's a good idea to do this, especially if you plan on having the weight off of the suspension or the airbags itself and having the key in the on position at the same time. Since the level or pressure sensor might turn on the air compressor, potentially putting too much air inside the air ride shocks. So if you've had the vehicle off the ground for work, the switch may have been left in the off position. This can be dangerous and cause some damage. Now let's move along to talking about air leaks. Assuming you can hear the air compressor running, but you find that the vehicle is sagging in one direction or the other, or the system inflates properly, but for some reason you can hear that air compressor pumping in the front there, and then it turns off, turns back on, and turns back off. That essentially means that you're having a leak someplace, and the compressor is doing too much work, and it could potentially get burnt out. Use a spray bottle with some soapy water. Spray all those air lines, the valves, connectors, and the airbags themselves. It's possible to find some lines that are dry and brittle. If that's the case, they could potentially break. And the airbags themselves get dry rotted, cracked, and those are common to leak as well. Of course, you could go deeper into a diagnostic with a scan tool, but eyes, ears, and soapy water is the most basic and quickest way of doing this. Now let's talk about fixes. It's true, air suspension is more complex and costly than coilover suspension. So people may want to just do a conversion. This can be as easy as removing the fuse so there's no power going to the compressor. That way there it doesn't run. After that, you can remove the airbag suspension and those shocks and swap them out with coilover shocks with a set of coil springs in the rear. By doing this, you're going to be feeling all those bumps as you would in any other vehicle. People that buy vehicles with air suspension typically like a smooth ride and they'll find that the vehicle just doesn't feel or handle the same way. Some high-end vehicles will have computerized air suspension systems that can adjust the pressures in each one of the airbags independently, adjusting the firmness and the height of the vehicle. So by switching out the vehicle's suspension, you can cause issues with the vehicle's stability and the traction control system. Although we sell the conversion kits, we also sell air suspension parts, including the compressor, lines, level sensors, and the airbag shocks themselves. Keep in mind the air suspension system could still have pressure in it whenever you're removing any of the parts. Be extremely careful, wearing hand and eye protection at all times. If you did happen to find that you had a leak or an issue with any of your air suspension parts, you don't necessarily have to replace every single part for the air suspension system. Find the leak, replace the part. But if you do find that you have multiple trauma or multiple parts that have an issue, we sell a complete air suspension kit for most passenger vehicles. 
Now, I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it interesting. If there's something in this video that you found was interesting and you want to share it with somebody, go ahead and share it with them. It would mean everything to me. If you like the video or even love the video, go ahead and smash on the like button for me. It means the world. While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell. That way they're you. All of your friends can be kept up with all of our latest content. Thanks. So your line is something along the lines of, I thought you said this thing feels like riding on a cloud. And I'm like, yeah, something doesn't feel right with the air suspension. It feels like the rear of the car is sitting low. I feel every bump. It doesn't handle very well anymore. I'm gonna be like, okay. So your line is, I thought you said this thing feels like riding on a cloud.